Hello everybody, well it's official. Ed Orgeron has uh, made a fair agreement with LSU and he will not will not return in 2022. The correct word, I'm not even sure the actual correct words to put it. It's not fired or he didn't resign. Uh, I guess, it's, like I said, I guess it's a fair agreement they made. Uh, yeah, I'm watching these highlights on SMF. Uh, Dallas one, they, they sneak by, but that's not the point of the video. But anyway, um... Ed, uh, Ed, I mean, I've been on here for how long? All these videos I made, Fire Ed Ogeron, Fire Ed Ogeron. Well, we finally got rid of him. And who's the next guy? Who's the next guy going to be? You know, we, we had this, you know, for baseball, the whole thing, baseball, we finally found a coach. Uh, football is, you know, way bigger than baseball. I mean, it's not even close. So, anyway, uh, we're, we're now in the coaching portal, not the transfer portal, the coaching portal. Who's going to be the next coach at LSU? Uh would be Mel Tucker. I, ter I that would be a terrible decision if LSU went with him. I think, in my opinion, some other some other people may think otherwise. Uh, Lane Kiffin is my number one. My number two is Dave Veranda, and my number three, my top three, my number three is James Franklin from Penn State. Uh, that is my top three right now. Uh, I, I've heard another. You know, I've heard uh, Joe Brady from Carolina. He he's not. I don't think he's. You know, I. He's never even been a head coach, I don't believe. I mean, he's an offense coordinator right now at Carolina. He was a quarterback's coach at uh, LSU. Yeah, LSU. <laughs> well, duh, I knew that. I, just, I don't know what I thought there for a minute. Uh, and he was at the Saints before. He's never been a head coach, and I don't think, you know, LSU is a big, you know, big name. And you don't want to hire somebody that, you know, is somebody that's a risk like that. You know, you, you don't know if that's going to be a risk. I don't think Lane Kiffin would be a risk. I don't think Iran would be a risk. Look where he's got Baylor. And I definitely don't think James Franklin would be a risk. He's a, has a lot of experience. He's at Penn State. Has them good every year. You know, of course, last year was kind of a down year. But, you know, he came back this year. And look where he's at, 5-1. and one. Do you believe in the, I'm sure, the, I mean, I'm pretty sure the top 15, if not the top 10, or somewhere in there. Uh, I'm not sure the exact numbers are at. But I think those top three uh, spots would be the best for LSU. Uh, Dave Aranda might actually be the best. He may be one of my, like, close to Lane. I mean, Lane Kevin's still my number one. But he, Lane, I mean, Dave Aranda, the only reason I say he's up there is because where he's at with Baylor right now, he's he's a head coach. He, uh, I mean, he knows Baton Rouge. He's a defense, a big, you know, good defense coordinator. You know, I just, I just think he would fit at LSU good. And so would Lane Kiffin. Lane Kiffin, the only thing with him, though, is he's been around so many places he was at. Oakland, Oakland Raiders, uh, he was ahead at Tennessee, USC, uh, F or Alabama, FAU, uh, now Ole Miss. He only sticks around for one or two years, it seems like, everywhere. He, he, I mean, he gets a better position, and he, and he splits. And I don't know if he said, I mean, that would be a good example of Ole Miss. He gets a better position at LSU, and he would split Ole Miss and come to LSU. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't blame him, but you need somebody at LSU that's going to stick around not split once he gets a better position. Only thing better at LSU would be the NFL, of course, I think. Um, stick around and just, I mean, you don't, you're not, I mean, I want somebody that'll be there for at least five years. I want five years at least, uh, not one or two years. I think that's the only thing with Lane Kiffin. Um, like I said, you know, I mean, that's my top three right now. I'm trying to think the other ones that I've heard going around besides Joe Brady. I heard uh, Mel Tucker's like leading right now. That's unreal. Because uh, he's had one good year of Michigan State. He was at Colorado before, bombed that. And then went to Michigan State, bombed it until this year. He's had seven straight, basically eight really super duper easy games. They play Michigan here in a few weeks. They're going to get slammed by them. Uh, so I, I, I honestly think right now LSU has the coach lined up. We just don't know it. The fans don't know it. I really do believe we, the coach is already named. The coach already knows and notified, and he's already in line to get it. I mean, the whole LSU knows who it's going to be. Uh, we just don't know. And it's what I, I mean. It's just, I mean, irritating. I don't want to hire somebody that, you know, I don't think would do a good job. Like Mel Tucker, I just, I don't think he would be, do a good job at LSU. Uh, I've heard stuff like, who, who else could be? I'm trying to think of all the stuff they said, uh, Nick, you got you got the the crackhead saying Nick Saban. <laughs> I'm calling the crackheads. Uh, Nick Saban. I mean, honestly, really, come on now. Um, 
Who else? I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of all the ones. I can't think of them. Some of them are just stupid and just jokes, I'm sure. But, I mean, a lot of people are saying Joe Brady and Mel Tucker's. I mean, a lot of people aren't saying Mel Tucker's. AD. I mean, I've seen a lot of sources from AD and all of them are get, reaching out to him. I, I, I don't know, though. I just, I, I don't, I, he, I wouldn't be on board for him. I haven't heard nothing barely about Lane Kiffin. I've seen a lot of sources say, you know, he, he's leading can or one of the leading candidates. I haven't heard too much from fans about him that want want him. It's a lot. A lot of fans I've seen Joe Brady saying Joe Brady and uh, Luke F Luke Fickle. That's who it is. Luke Fickle. It hit me now. Luke Fickle. Uh, I've seen a, a lot of people say Luke Fickle. I mean, he's probably leading up what I've seen. I knew I was getting one. It was Luke Fickle. I wouldn't mind having Luke Fickle. I wouldn't at all. I think he would be. He would make a good coach at LSU and. You know, he's, I know he's at Cincinnati, but, you know, I, th I wouldn't mind having him. Uh, the other one was P.J. Fleck. I don't know about P.J. Fleck. I just don't know. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Luke Fickle, you know, I've heard about him. Uh, like I said, number three, uh, James Franklin from Penn State. Number two, Dave Aranda, which is at Baylor. And number one, Lane Kiffin. Uh, number one is Lane Kiffin. He just, he's got the offense. Every time, I mean, the only thing is, the only two things are, 